For this example, we have the function y equals one half times cosine x. Based on the cosine function, we we'll, we can look at the first coordinate of the order pair on the unit circle. So at an angle zero, we look at the value one. At an angle pi over two or ninety degrees, look at the value zero. At pi, the value is negative one. At three pi over two, the value is zero. And at two pi is the same as using the coordinate one comma zero or the value one for the cosine function. So make a list for the five key points. So five key points gonna be starting from one and then zero, negative one, zero, one. One is at an angle zero and then next is pi over two and then pi three pi over two and two pi to compute or to complete the table based on the function is one half times the cosine function value so we're going to make a template and then fill in the parentheses with the five key points because these numbers are from the range from zero to two pi or in one complete cycle starting with x and ending at 2 pi. So that's one period or one cycle of the graph. So we're going to fill in the first value of the cosine at the first key point is 1, and the next 0, negative 1, 0, 1, and so forth. Simplify the number to be 1 half, 0, negative 1 over 2, 0, and 1 over 2. Form the order pair x, comma y, where x is an angle and y is the function value. The next is y, uh, pi over two comma zero. The third one is angle pi, the value is negative one half. Then three pi over two, the value is zero. And the last one is an angle two pi, the function value is one half. So we get all five order pairs based on the five key points. Then um, to sketch the graph from zero to two pi, so we can stress this, the graph a little bit wider than the previous one. So this is zero and then make it into four equal sub intervals from zero to two pi. So break it up as uh, the increment of pi over two and then pi and then three pi over two and then two pi. The maximum value of the graph is one half. The minimum is negative one half. So I'm gonna make a list. So the maximum equals one half where the minimum is negative one half. So make the increment. So this is one half and neg is positive, positive one. One half, one and next. This is negative one half and negative one. Y is the vertical axis and X is the horizontal axis. For the coordinate, um, zero, one half. At zero, the function value is one half. At pi over two, the function value is zero. At pi, the function value is negative one over two. At three pi over two, the function value is zero. At two pi, the function is one half. And then connect all five points with the smooth curve. So the summary of this one, as the amplitude, amplitude is a half of absolute value of the max minus min. The maximum is one half, the minimum is negative one half, and it turns out to be the amplitude equals one half. <clears throat> because one half minus one half, one half minus negative one half, sorry, is one, and then multiply by one half in the front and becomes the value one half. And the range, which is the, the interval for the lowest y and the highest y, since the maximum is one half, minimum is negative one half, the range is going to be the interval of negative one half comma one half. The period, the graph repeat the same pattern after it completes the cycle at the point two pi. So the period is the distance from one end to another end which is two pi minus zero or the beginning point, And we can write it as the period equals two pi. And look at the graph, they're comparing with the basic 
graph y equals cosine x. The one that we just did is the graph y equals one half cosine x or the red curve. The red curve is behaving the same way, but it's flatter. That means it's not as tall as the graph of the y equals cosine x. As you see, the coefficient of the red curve is one half. So as the concept of the translation of the graph, the graph of the cosine x, which is typically one here, instead of the one is one half. So that means the graph is compressed vertically with the factor one half of the original function. And the summary for the amplitude equals one over two, or the shortcut is the measurement from the mid, mid line of the graph to the top, that's the amplitude. The period is the link from the right end to the left end. The right end is two pi, the left end is zero. So the, the link or the whole period is two pi. In summary, generalizing the results of these last three examples, we can say that if A is greater than zero, oops, if A is greater than zero, then the graph of A of Y equals A times I X or Y equals A times cos I X have an amplitude A we call for A greater than zero. And the range gonna be negative A to positive A.